Hey guys, Emma, and today we are on Manaria. Now it's been quite a while since I've done the Manaria and episode on Manaria, so here we go. I am going to do a quick run through of all the towns and cities in the world map, in the world, except spawn because you guys know what spawn looks like. So we're going to start over here. We got four to start off with, which are in the jungle region. We have Lyri, Colgreed, Arendelle. And Tatora. So let's head over to Lyrie first. So Lyrie is the two regions bridge. Um, it was the second town that I ever completed on um my area. So it's, it's you know a bit special. It's pretty cool. It's pretty big. I mean, <laughs> it's a big bridge. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this is Lyrie. So next up is Colgreed. Now this is the home of Ayota, which is the god of war. So this is his temple. Colgreed is all ruined and pretty derelict. Ayota was actually the very last um, god that we added. He ended up getting Colgreed as his town, which is pretty special for Colgreed. Next up we have Arendelle, which is actually the very first town I ever completed on Manaria and that building right there is the very first building ever built in Manaria. So it's pretty special. Um, now Arendelle is the city of flowers or the town of flowers and this guy or oh girl <laughs> says it all. Flowers are our livelihood here in Arendelle. We eat them, brew them and many other things. Next up we have Tatora which is the capital of the um, jungle region, so the tropical is capital, um, is a, a lovely port town. Now, um, Totoro is actually based off Laurelin village from Breath of the Wild. Um, I go through, as I go through these, I'll t you guys will find out a lot about each of the towns and some of them are based off of other things or based off other games and stuff, which Pretty cool. Now, Lur um, the tour is uh, based off Lurlin. Now, next up, we have the uh, Tega uh, trio, which is down here. So, the last four were up there. This is down here, we have Hein, Riverus, and Wildstand. So, let's head over to Hein. Now, Hein was actually one of the towns that was built by Callum. I had nothing to do with it. So, he's done a very good job with all the towns that he's built. So, yeah, Pine is the uh, the secluded fishing town. So each town has like a little slogan, and that is Hines. So next up we have Riveris, which is again another one done by Cal. Now Riveris is the na naval capital, and it's also the capital of the um, Ega uh, region. So it is. Pretty big and pretty cool. And there are lots of boats. <laughs> a lot of boats. So next up we have Wildstand. Now this was the last town ever built on um Manaria, so you know, pretty special. I mean all the towns are pretty special, but you know. <laughs> so this one is the shipyard as well, it has the shipyard as its slogan because there are a lot of boats in Manaria, um, and I was like, where do the boats come from? Uh, so I was like, we need a shipyard, and that is where Wildstand comes in. So next up we have the Plains region, so we've got these three technically, but we'll avoid, we'll, we'll skip spawn. So we've got Valdoral and we've got Alona. Now the Plains is this massive bit up here. So we've got Valdoral, we've got Spawn, and we've got Alona. So let's head on over to Valdoral. <laughs> so this is the Dwarven mining town. Um, technically we don't have dwarves, but you can only have two sizes in um, villages. So... Yeah. <laughs> so we've got all of this, and... Uh, of the outside as well so it's very blocky 
Um, it looks a lot, a lot better in a texture pack um, instead of vanilla. So if you ever play on Monaria, do use the texture pack because it looks a lot better. And we've got a cat. So Voldorot goes all the way down here. It's just like loads of apartments and stuff. And down here is like a dining room in his kitchen. So Voldorot is a lot bigger than you think. Next up, we've got Alona. Now, Alona is my town, as you guys know from my last uh, video on Manaria. So, we've got Yara's Temple right up there. Now, Alona is actually my favorite town. Not to toot my own horn, but it is my favorite town. Just because it looks so pretty. <laughs> Again, not to toot my own horn, but I, I'm quite impressed with myself, um, with what I've done here. Um, Alona was actually one of the very first towns that I completed as well. So again, it's pretty special. So next up we have the two, um, desert region towns. So we've got Rahar Oasis and we've got Alabara. Now, I like Totora, these two which are right here, so we got Raha right there, and we've got like, Alabara right there. These two are based off of two towns from Breath of the Wild. Now, I, I love Breath of the Wild, it's an amazing game. Um, so I had to base off a lot of things from it. Um, so this one is actually based off Karakara Des uh, Karakara Bazaar from Breath of the Wild. So it's pretty small, it's just lots of little tents with uh, villagers selling uh, custom heads. Yeah, that is Rahar. Rahar Oasis, sorry. Next up, we have Alabar, which is based off Gerudo Town from Breath of the Wild. You can see, you can kind of see a lot of resemblance between the two if you've ever play, uh, played Breath of the Wild. I had to, I had to guys, I had to. <laughs> so, um, Alabar, is actually one of the first um, towns that I built. I mean, I built Alabar so early that I hadn't even chosen the texture pack yet. So this is actually Endstone, um, <laughs> which looks a lot better in uh, default. But I mean, I'm using the texture pack, so it looks like this. I mean, it doesn't look bad, and I'm not going to change it. Simple as that. So next up, we have the two snowy region um, towns. So we've got Nayaris and we've got Othea Springs. So these are down here. So we've got Othea right there and we've got uh, Nayaris like, right there. So let's head over to Nayaris first. So Nayaris is actually based off Arendelle from Frozen, which is kind of random. You gotta have these random things. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Uh, I really... I I really like the roofs. I mean, I've never done a roof like this before, <laughs> so it's very unique to me, and um, I think it looks good. So yeah, this is Nearis. So heading over to Othea Springs now. So it's literally just these two buildings. I mean, they're not even really buildings, to be honest. But yeah, who's counting? <laughs> so Othea is one of the. T a uh, few towns that has lots of different uh, citizens from around the world. So, as you can see from their clothings and stuff, a cave here, which is all part of the law of Othia. Now, every single town in Ma uh, Manaria has its own law. So, you get the uh, history books from specific, uh, a specific NPC from each town. So yeah, this is Othia. So next up we have Perga, which is the only town in the Hell region, which is up here. So that right there is Perga. So let's head over. Now Perga is also, of course, the ta the home of uh, Detrith, which is the god of death. That is Chrissy's god. So yes, that is his temple right there. So this here is Perga. Um, I primarily built Perga, but of course Callum has his ship right there, so he's got his little, his little build in Perga as well. So yeah, this is Perga. 
So next up we have these three, which is Arian, Dotran, and Su Jong. Now these three are actually based off three bosses from Arcage. So Arian is based off Arya, Dotran is based off Dotral, and Su Jong is based off So Jong. And these three are over here. So we got Su Jong, uh, Dotran, Arian. We'll head to Arian first. Now, Arian is actually probably my second favourite um, town. Just because it's so pretty. No, Arian is actually um, co-built by me and Callum. So, I mean, it looks pretty and it's so nice. And it looks even better with shaders because the, the lanterns just... Oh, it makes it look so cool. So, yeah, this is Arian. Heading on to Dotrin now. Now this one is the home of Armaldin, which is Callum's god. Uh, so obviously this one is based off of uh, Dolchal from Arcage. And this town is literally, um, or this building, sorry, is uh, ba literally based off of Dotrin, Dolchal's <laughs> boss room, which, you know, had to be done. <laughs> So over here, all the way over here, is a uh, dragon statue and is a Maldin's temple. So if you're a follower of a Maldin, that is where you go to pray. And next up we have Su Jong, which is based off So Jong from So Jong, sorry, so Jong from Arcage, and is the city of snakes, which is literally what So Jong, uh, so Jong is. <laughs> I can sp I can speak. So yeah, so drunk in Arcage is literally a, a snake lady, aka a naga. Um, so that is so drunk. And last but not least, we have the two island region um towns. So we've got Malari and Delir. We've got Malari all the way up here, and we've got Delir down here. So let us head to Malari first. Now this is actually Calum's favourite town, just because of the sheer amount of boats that he had to build for it. Um, he enjoyed himself quite a lot, so I mean he liked it, so I can complain. Now this was actually one of the last uh, towns that I built, so yeah, it's as I said, all the towns are special, but hey. <laughs> Now Malari is actually based off of Tortuga from um, Pirates of the Caribbean, so we've got kind of like the Western style going on. I mean, Western and Pirate is kind of a weird mix, but <laughs> it works, <laughs> so I can't complain. So yeah, that is Malari. And last but not least, we have Delir, which was built lovingly by Callum again. Now he again enjoyed himself because he had to do a lot of boats. So <laughs> I can't complain. If he's enjoying himself then yeah I can't complain. Uh, what is the slogan for this? Uh, tropical paradise. So it's nice and pretty and cool. So yeah that is the loom. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. So that was my little walkthrough on all the towns on Moneria. There's quite a lot of them, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I told you every single time, don't you worry.